Reynolds here, co-founder of Pat Trading Partners, along with Bob Baccino. So, NEO update. NEO came down, went through our 99.13 level, down to retest the lows from before, and just broke them slightly. Came up, if you watched any of our videos yesterday, we talked about this as our high probability reversal pattern. Pull back to the between the 0.5625, reverse up. That's the aggressive entry. The uh, conservative entry wouldn't have triggered yet, which would be above this 132.68. So the reason also we say take something off or at least move up your stop and don't let this turn into a loser once it hits the rotation zone. You see, spiked up before it hit the rotation zone, went back down to that 50% level, comes up again, hits the rotation zone, now just holding at this very level. If we do continue higher, then the next area we'll be watching is the major is this 133 roughly. We got the declining 50 period and it's right between this cluster. And we'll check that and verify that, not daily. And then the next level above that's 142.27. If we break back down, we're then watching for the 113 and then the 108 level. Now, if we go for some reason to new lows at any point, we'll take a look at those on the daily. So let's switch over there now. So you also see that 133 is where we have the 21 and the declining eight. So that's gonna be major, major resistance right up there. So again, that's either pro profit taking or move your stop up again, because the daily has more significance than the four hour. And if it stalls out here and then rotates back down, that's what we're gonna be watching for. Notice also that the 50 day exponential is coming in just below that 113 level. Now, if we do break all the way down at some point and retest these lows and break through the lows, the next key levels are 84.50 and then 74.87. Switching over to NEM slash XEM, uh, this also did our nice 50% retracement pattern. For some reason it fell off. So let me put it back on there. You see holding at this right at that 62 and a half, that's the range between the 50 and 62 and a half, rotating up. The aggressive entry would have been this rotation back up. The conservative entry would be waiting for the close, which is just is, would not have taken the conservative entry on this one because of where the 21 is. Essentially, you're taking the entry and then you're immediately moving your stop and you can't even get it anywhere close to break even. So the conservative entry would be shifted until it gets above the 21 on a closing basis. So if you weren't going to do anything on the aggressive entry and you see conservative entries like this, this close to the 21, Pass on that, wait for it to close above the 21. That's a little trading advice. Now, get a, get if we get above the 21, we're going to watch for the 69.65 level. And then on a bigger run up, we have this prior breakdown zone. Let me mark that off. Right around here, you see how all this was support, 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 support. Then we broke through it. That's major resistance. And it's coming in with a declining 50 period exponential moving average so that'd be about 75 48 just shy of the 50 percent retracement level which is coming in at 77 66. so let's also see now you did get this reversal pattern it just missed the bottom projection which came in about 49 uh i mean 44 or 45 level this was at 45 74. so that's all done at this point now if we break to new lows we'll mark that off on the daily we'll see where that is so let's switch over to the daily for both the upside and the downside okay so if the upside notice also let me expand this so we really get to zoom in the upside to that breakdown level I marked off on the four hour zone is right at the 8 EME. So that's a very strong level to watch for. Now this is gonna keep sliding down. So if we don't rally soon, pay a little more attention to where the 8 EMA is on the daily because that's your first uh, major target. The first minor target is, again is the 69.65. If we do break above the eight, then the next major cluster target, we have major resistance at this 85.74. Now, if we turn around, Move back down, we'll be watching for 5371 area as the first level support. And then back to, if that does not hold, the 4574 area. Then if we break to new lows, we'll be watching for the 3640. And then below that, we can hit eventually 2706. But this is a pretty strong reversal pattern. See on this daily chart, the nice long wick. 
the 50% retest of that wick and now moving back up. So more likely we be t we'll be watching for a continued move higher after it gets out of this consolidation. But at least as we've said before on all these, if you did an aggressive entry off these kind of patterns, then you're moving your stop. Worst case, maybe wait for this bar to close. You got in, let's just say hypothetically around 56.42 on this nice closing bar rotation back up. And then you're gonna see this, it hits 21, your stop's gonna be 56, 42 at least. If you wanna go a little more conservative and risk a little money, you could put it back below the 62.5, so you could put it at 52, 40, and you're taking on a little risk, gives you a little more cushion, but this is not something where you'd have a stop back down at new lows. You, you wanna protect, we don't know if the bottom's fully in yet, so, we want to at least eliminate our risk should this just be a temporary rebound back to the four hour rotation zone and then the sell off continues. That's what we have for you on NEMXEM and NEO and we will talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.